Happy Friday. Phil Lindemann with your news from Avalanche Physical Therapy on Crystal 93. Aspen's own Alex Ferreira just took half-pipe gold at today's U.S. Grand Prix Ski Finals. Ferreira beat New Zealand's Nico Porteous for the win, stomping his best run on his first run of the day. Canada's Brendan McKay took third. Top qualifier Aaron Blunk finished last. China's Eileen Gu won the women's title by a half point, beating Rachel Carker of Canada and Kelly Sildaru of Estonia. A pair of Americans, Britta Sigourney and Hannah Fallhaber, took fourth and fifth. Tomorrow are snowboard halfpipe finals at Copper, where Japanese superhuman Ayumu Hirano holds the best score from qualifiers, ahead of Americans Chase Josie, Taylor Gold, and Sean White. Spain's Kero Castellet is frontrunner for the ladies. Copper has been blessed with 11 inches in the past 48 hours, the most in Summit, and Gustavo from Brazil was out in it today. You no, know, it's been definitely a waiting game, a lot of snow dance going on, and you know, the, the gods hurt us and blessed us with some Ooh, low fresh snow. <laughs> Gustavo was lapping Super B, where race crew was rolling up fences and patrol was dropping ropes. It's feeling really good, man. It's definitely the best day so far this season. Making her first turns of the season at Copper was our very own Fox from Sea Rock. Copper is slaying it. Good fresh snow. You got to get out here, check out the Grand Prix, and take some laps while you're at it. Chairlifts are now spinning out of all three villages at Copper, with turns all the way to the top off Storm King. Fresh snow means fresh avalanche danger. Danger is considerable today in the Summit Eagle County zone at and above treeline with heavy wind loading and lots of sharks just under the surface. Check the CAIC forecast for the latest. A gypsum man has pleaded guilty to a dozen felonies for a fraud scam spanning seven counties in the high country. 21-year-old Jesse Robert Flores pays $100,000 to his victims and spends eight years in jail for purchasing cars and ATVs with bad checks. He built at least a dozen people in Summit, Eagle, Lake, Grand, and Chafee counties. A disgraced Idaho Springs police officer has taken a plea deal for third-degree assault. Nicholas Hanning faces jail time for that incident in May when he used a taser on an elderly man during a noise complaint. It was one of the first cases in the state where body cam footage led to an officer's arrest and later termination. Meadow Creek Pond in Frisco is now open for ice skating with a full-time Zamboni and updated warming hut. The pond is open seven days a week until 10 p.m. nightly behind Walmart. Bring your own skates. Rivers Clothing Company on Main Street has the best wassail in town. Rivers won this year's annual Wassail Days Sipper's Choice Award. Frisco Lodge of, and Remax Properties of the Summit took second and third. In sports, the Avalanche played the Red Wings tonight at 7. On Sunday, the Broncos faced the Lions at 2.05 on Fox. This is Scar Stories, where today we're hearing from Tony C., director of Ski Patrol at Arapahoe Basin. Well, I would have to knock on that bar and hope that it's real wood because I've uh, been very fortunate uh, in my career to have never had to go see a physician due to uh, falling down and going boom. You're kidding. No, I'm not. I, um, I learned long ago to never fight the fall. I just go loose. And it's, uh, it's why my staff calls me Tomahawk Tony. Hear Tony's full story on the Crystal 93 YouTube channel and tune in next Friday for more Scar Stories. And in local sports, Summit High Boys Basketball opens a tournament in Steamboat today. Girls Basketball is playing Chatfield away. Tomorrow is day two of the Boys Basketball Tournament. Tigers Hockey plays Aspen away. Girls Swimming and Diving is down in Gunnison. And Wrestling's got to meet at Wheat Ridge. Phil Lindemann with your news from Avalanche Physical Therapy on Crystal 93.